What's up everybody, Matt here, and today I'll be reviewing Real Heroes. Uh, this is a book created, written, and drawn by Brian Hitch, a guy who's done quite a bit in comics. Uh, most of most people will know him from the art from uh, uh, The Ultimates. Uh, and this is a book by In Image Comics. Uh, so let's get into it. So the comic starts off with 9-11, uh, um, the terrorist attack on the World Trade Center towers and a family, uh, or a, a woman and her son, you know, worrying about uh, her husband uh, named Martin Reynolds. He was on Ladder 43, which is one of the, one of the uh, firefighter units that actually went up into the towers before the towers collapsed. Um, we then cut to the Olympian, which is uh, a superhero, and he's fighting this big hulked out thing, and we see he's, he's getting into this big destruction, big battle through uh, New York, and he's up against a guy called Brainchild, and it's here we are introduced to the team called the Olympians, and um, the team is consist consists of a, I guess a an Ant-Man wasp type character called Tiny Titan, a uh, character called uh, Longbow, which is uh, like a green arrowy type character, Hawkeye type character, uh, a guy called the Patriot, which is obviously Captain America um, uh, type thing, uh, uh, we then get one called Velocity, which is a speedster, and a Iron Man type guy, uh, I can't remember what his name is, um, but he's like, yeah, this Iron Man type guy who's in like a uh, like a wheelchair. And um, it's then we find out that that is actually a movie uh, being screened, and all these people that are these superheroes are actually actors, and they're at the premiere of the movie, uh, which is called uh, The Olympians 2 uh, Devastation. And <laughs> what I find really funny is each of the actors that play it represent a real actor in like in real life like uh, the guy that plays the Olympian is a splitting image of Chris Pine uh, the guy who plays the Patriot is a splitting image of Bradley Cooper uh, the guy who plays uh, Velocity the speedster is like dead on ring of uh, uh, Will Smith's son uh, Jaden Smith like like dead on down to the, the, the eye squint he always seems to do um, which I thought was pretty cool, and it is even funny because the movie itself is directed by Josh Trank, the guy who's um, uh, did Chronicle and is currently doing that uh, Fantastic Four movie you nobody know, wants. Um, and then we we sort of see him, and we we see like the um, the Bradley Cooper type character is also like an amalgamation of Bradley Cooper and um, Robert Downey Jr. Like he even wears like those type of glasses Robert Downey Jr. always you see him wear it like the premieres and stuff as like sort of like orange tinted glasses and he has sort of a background as well in like drugs and alcohol and all that as seen when he meets a girl in the restroom who is doing cocaine <laughs> and uh, you know he went once in on it anyway the stars of the movie all go up onto the stage and everything and you know do the whole Avengers thing you know they're all on the stage together and everything and um one of the one of the producers of the guys said they have like a special uh, event plan or a special guest, and it's one of the devastators from the movie. And everyone's you know cheering, you know, oh, Stan Winston made that. That's an actual line in in uh, the comic, you know, Stan Winston made it. Uh, but then it just starts attacking people, like just out of nowhere, just blows people away, and it's like actually killing people. And um. These actors being actors, you know, they're all scared and everything. They end up, end up running back into the Chinese theatre and uh, this guy leads them through a door. Like, he's like their sort of PR security type guy. Uh, he leads them through this door and they actually end up in New York. And it's here we find out that they've actually been transported into a different world where the Olympians actually exist. And the reason they've been transported here by this guy is this guy used to sort of look after the Olympians. He was sort of like their um, their oracle, as best as I could explain. And he's brought them here to sort of help uh, their time because their time has been destroyed by like all these devastators and aliens and mutants and whatnot. And he sort of brought them in as you know 
as a symbol of hope, I guess. Um, and, you know, he's, I, I, I guess, planning on giving them powers or something, or making them look like they have powers. Uh, I'm not too sure, because um, that's where the, uh, the comic ends. <laughs> I'm gonna say this comic was pretty fucking cool. Um, I like the whole, like, it, like parody on like Avengers and you know obviously like Fantastic Four with the Josh Trank thing and yeah I thought it was cool and I liked how each of the uh, actors or like people portraying the Olympians were modelled after actual actors like you know you got Chris Pine you got your know, Bradley Cooper you got your Jaden Smith it's all pretty fucking funny um, I'm interested to see where this comic goes I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of Brian Hitch I haven't read a lot read some of his stuff recently but um I do actually own some books of his and I might pop them back out while I'm reading this it's definitely worth a read I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10